Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be, we are back and better than ever, and this is going to be bad, uh, not in the bad way, but in the good bad way. So, hence the theme music from the Irish rock band U2. We are talking about the product rule, we are doing calculus, which is the greatest of all time. And we are going to start posing the question, if we had a function equal to uh, the sum of two functions, we have learned that if we take the derivative, then it's equivalent to the sum of the two de the derivatives of the two functions right there. Awesome sauce. Now, what if we have the product? Is the same thing true? That is, if I have the product of two functions equal to a function, um, is the derivative of that function equal to the product of those functions derivatives? So let us ponder that by considering this function u of x v of x with u of x equal to x squared and v of x equal to x cubed. Is the derivative equal to the derivative of u of x times the derivative of v of x? And hopefully you're saying, well, Mr. Becker, why don't you just multiply them and make them x to the fifth and then take the derivative? You can definitely do that. But we will have more complicated functions that are products, as you shall see in a minute. But let's first test this out. So is f prime of x equal to u prime of x? Well, if u of x is um, x squared, then u prime of x is 2x times the derivative of v times 3x squared. And if we simplify that, that's equal to 6x cubed. Huh. And if we go over here and we simplify and we take, okay, x squared times x cubed, just like we were just talking about, equals x to the fifth. And we take the derivative of that, we get 5x to the fourth. So we can see that they are not indeed equal. So this is not equal, not equal. Um, we've just shown that um, it's not true, okay? That you, you can't take the uh, derivative of two functions and multiply them and get the derivative of the product of two functions. And just to sort of hammer that home, I, I did it on the calculator for you. Um, um, this is the derivative of x to the fifth power, and um, when x equals 1, the slope of the tangent to the curve is 5, and when x equals 1 here, the slope of the tangent would be 6. So that's two ways to show you that it doesn't work. Okay, well, um, we have a rule, and it is called the product rule. And it says that if we have two functions, then the pro and there we are multiplying them. In other words, we have f of x is equal to the product of two functions. Then the derivative is equal to the uh, derivative of the first times the second plus the uh, first function times the derivative of the second. And I don't like the way either of these are written. I wish this v was here. And it said v du dx plus u dv dx. And this is from your formula sheet. It has u dv dx plus v du dx. And I wish they had written it like this. v du dx plus u dv dx. Now that's all predicated on the fact that the definition is that the function is u times, uh, let's say, u times v. u is first and then v. And you might be asking, well, why do you like it this way? I can't answer that just yet because it's part of another rule and it just helps you. Um, it's easier to remember both of the rules if they're this way, and you'll see it. Um, uh, you'll see that in a in another lesson. Um, but the way I call it is VDU plus UDV, VDU plus UDV, and I just kind of leave out the X. But it is on your formula sheet, you know, if you forget it, but I think you're going to find that you're going to remember these rules quite easily. Okay, so um, we're going to do it, F of X, and I'm going to, say, I'm going to do it this way, VDU plus UDV. And I, before, again, before I, I begin, 
just recall, you know, it, it doesn't matter the order that we add things. So that's why I can move it. Okay, so f prime of x is equal to v, the function v is x cubed times du, uh, which is 2x. So v du plus u, the function u is x squared times dv, the derivative of v. So that would be times 3x um, squared. So we simplify this. This becomes 2x to the fourth plus 3x to the fourth, which is 5x to the fourth. Okay? And we knew that because we knew, you know, this is an easy one. We know that f of x, really, if I multiply these two, is equal to x to the fifth. And the derivative of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth. Again, if you had this, if you had these two functions, I wouldn't expect you to use the product rule because it's just, it's very simple to take x squared times x cubed and simplify the original function by writing it as x to the fifth power. But if you have functions like look, look like this, you can't simplify it. So this is why we need the product rule. So just have two examples for you, these two. So I'm going to first rewrite this function, uh, the square root, as x to the 1 half power multiplied by 2x plus 1 cubed. Okay, And remember, y prime equals u dv. I just like the short notation here. Oh no, I wanted to do v du. Sorry about that. v u prime or v du plus um, u dv, okay? And u is x to the 1 half, and v is 2x plus 1 cubed, okay? So y primed is, or the derivative of y, dy dx, is equal to the function v, so that's 2x plus 1 cubed, um, du, so that would be times 1 half, x to the negative one-half plus u, the function u, is x to the one-half dv. And uh, look at v here. Careful, we got chain rule action here. So that would be times 3 times 2x plus 1 um, squared. So derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside times 2. And I don't like to simplify these things um, uh, unless I have to. Now, if I had to evaluate it, I would. And again, I did an example on the calculator here. And I said, all right, let's take a look um, for x equal to 2. So I took the derivative, the numerical derivative, when x equals 2 of this. And I got 256 point blah, 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 blah. And so then I redid it um, just using... Um, um, uh, replacing this x in this expression with 2, exactly as it looks here, except I have a 6 here, which is the result of 3 times 2. And if you look, 2 to the 1 half, that's this right here, replacing x with 2. And anyway, you can see that, you know, taking the derivative and replacing each of these x's with a 2 yields the same result as finding the, new, new, uh, the numerical derivative here. Um, okay, we'll do the last example, this one. Um, again, y equals v du plus u dv. And what's my u? My u is x squared, and my v is x squared minus 2x to the fourth power. So y prime is going to be equal to v, the function v. So I just rewrite it. x squared minus 2x to the fourth multiplied by du, the derivative of u, the, the derivative of x squared is 2x, plus u, the function u is x squared, multiplied by the derivative of v, u dv. Okay, again, we have some chain rule action, so that's going to be times 4 times x squared minus 2x, to the third power, okay? 
then multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So that would be derivative of x squared minus 2x is 2x minus 2. Done. Okay, I guess I could write this as 4x squared if I wanted to. I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. Again, I did another quick calculator just to prove it to you in case you don't believe me. Why would you? Okay, so I just took the numerical derivative of the original function here for x equal to 2, and I came up with 0. And then all I did here is I took the derivative that I found, and I replaced everywhere you see an x, I replaced it with 2. Um, all kinds of 2s here, but you can see it yielded the same result. Okay, that is it, and I am out!